Hi guys, we're here in Exeter for Freshers Week. I'm Tom, this is Meg. We're here to film the 2022 Freshers Week coverage for the University of Exeter. Can I just see who's next to you? I'm talking to myself as a person. Yeah, I'm not even in the So, yes. Thanks for having us on, Tom. Uh, I'm Rhys. I'm from Expression FM. That's our student radio station here on campus. We broadcast live every day from Expression FM studio, which is just up in Devonshire House. Uh, if you're not quite sure where it is, we've got a lovely, helpful video on our, uh, our social media pages. We are the only campus radio station at the University of Exeter. Sure. So I'm the president of the uh, Film Society. And, and with a great committee, we've got Molly, who's the vice president, we've got um, Elle, who's the treasurer, and then we've got Ella, who's our social secretary. Uh, film Society is basically, it's for people who are really into films, so like the cinephile community, but also those who just kind of like films. And our events kind of show that because we'll have more specialised events linking to the academics, but then also we'll have things like casual screenings, film talks and film quizzes. Hi, my name is Alex, I'm part of XTV and today we are filming Freshers on Tuesday today. And we're going to check out a bunch of different societies, see what's up, and see you soon. <laughs> what about the societies really drawn into it and what are you hoping to do for this year? So what drew me to it mostly was watching Strictly Come Dancing, to be honest. I've danced all my life, but that sort of, that sort of dancing, it's always looked amazing to me. Um, this year, we're aiming to get as many people involved as possible, as many people doing our main fundraising event, which is Exeter Does Strictly, and as many people competing at our big competition, Blackpool, as possible. So I'm a publicity officer, so I'm in charge of all social media and making sure people know where to go for classes, for any event that we have and just getting as many new people as possible. I'm president, so I just sort of oversee everything, try and make sure the main society aims are being achieved. Um, I'm the fundraising officer, which means I'm in charge of organising Strictly, um, recruiting all our celebs from the different sports societies, making sure it runs well and we raise lots of money for charity and that everyone gets to see what we do as a society and can come along and have an amazing time. So I'm here with Ellie from ArtSoc. Could you please tell me what your role is in the committee and what ArtSoc is looking to do for this year? Um, so I'm the open, one of the Open Studio coordinators and um, basically we just run a space every Monday for people to be able to um, do some art and use supplies, a uh, place kind of like a welcoming place for people to sort of chat and it's more of a like low-key thing to do which I think is a nice way to start fresh this week and just any week really. Do you have any socials where people can find you and what are they? Yeah, sure. Okay, so we don't have any socials this week, but on Monday we're doing a Bob Ross painting. Um, like, so yeah, we're going to follow along to a tutorial in um, the forum and yeah, so that should be able to accommodate more people. So we're going to do it in Forum Exploration Lab 2. Um, and that's more of our social event for this time. And I think we're going to hope to do like some more in like Cavern because we do lots of drink and draws throughout the year in Cavern because oh, really lovely. nice location. Yeah. Hi, I'm here with Josh from the Hide and Seek Society. Can you please tell me what your society is about? Yeah, so, um, so what's up on the tin, hide and seek, we just sort of uh, try and sort of bring out the inner child in people at Exeter, uh, sort of ways to sort of step back from the stress of uni and just have the chill time with mates and uh, have fun, a bit of fun. Uh, so like, is the hut part of the society and like, what does it mean? So uh, although it's hide and seek society, and it's, um, we wear Where's Wally hats because we play hide and seek and it's kind of like Where's Wally and finding the books. So it's just like a fun motif and we usually give them out to members. So when you buy a membership, you usually get a, a hat and we'll do a nice hat and social so use all the pizza and stuff like that. May I ask, why did you join the Hide and Seek Society? Um, I just really found all like, the activity interesting. It was quite childish in its own way and it was just my way to kind of like let loose and stuff during the week. It was just it looked like a really inclusive bunch of people and a really good time. Uh, cool Runnings is versatility in a society in body is uh, we work around everybody we run on roads we run on trails uh, we run five six times a week we work around everybody's schedules and we just want to get people out running really get them in the fresh air uh, that's it really. people that are new how would you explain the rules of bench ball it's a bit like netball so you can't move when you got the ball um, you've got no contact involved and you are shooting to Instead of netball, uh, hoop, a personal event. Any events you guys are looking forward to doing this year? 
Yes, we have a really exciting event this year because we are hosting, I believe for the first time, uh, Varsity um, at Exeter. And we're gonna get the University of Sheffield, Birmingham, Lancaster, and Bournemouth um, to come. And we're gonna play bench ball and we're gonna compete to see who wins the Varsity Trophy. And it'll probably be held probably end of February, beginning of March. <laughs> yeah, so Raz is the arts, culture and lifestyle magazine. Uh, we're the only magazine that's part of X Media. So if you think of like Exposés, the newspaper, and we're the magazine. Um, well, I think we have just a ton of opportunities to get involved in writing, illustrating, photography, anything like that. Like if you're at all interested in magazines, then join us. Um, or also we love people come picking up the magazine and reading it, like we want to write for someone. So even if you're not interested in writing, then come by our freshest stall and pick up the magazine and just enjoy reading it. Hi, so I'm here today with the presidents of the English Society, I'm Sophie and Emily. Um, I'm Sophie, I'm doing third year English. Um, this year I'm doing articles on the Ginny Wolf and like the death of modernism. Um, I'm one of the co-presidents of the English Society alongside Emily. We were both on committee last year, weren't we? So I was academic staff and you were Treasurer, yeah. yeah. So we have now taken up the role of presidents, and yeah, we're really enjoying it. It's been a good, freshest week so far. And yeah. we just generally try to be sort of a touch point for students who study English, or even if you don't study English, to be able to kind of talk to other students who are doing the degree, meet other people who do their subject, and kind of be able to get advice from students instead of seminar leaders, which is a bit more scary. We offer like support, like workshop clinics. We basically have a lot of cake. We chat about how stressful it is to write an essay and we offer advice and we can kind of direct them to wellbeing support or seminar leader support. We also have an intramural team, so we play netball every Sunday, which is really fun. It's everyone very yeah. bonded. Me and so don't play netball, no, we just come to support either. everyone. We are not sporty, but we have a chance on the sideline. Yeah. <laughs> Could you tell us a bit about Pole Fitness Society? What's it about and who's it for? Like it has a specific audience. Yeah, um, no specific audience. Our motto is all bodies welcome. So we really welcome anyone and everyone. We're all about inclusivity. We want people to feel comfortable. We want people to feel safe. So just anyone is welcome to come and give it a try. Brilliant. And <laughs> um, ultimately, we're just um, an inclusive society all round. We bring Paul to everyone, no matter your body type, and we bring fitness to everyone, no matter your body type again. I'm here with Georgia from RAG. Georgia, can you tell us a bit about your society and what type of events do you guys do? Yeah, so we're Raise and Give, um, RAG for short. We're one of the university's oldest and largest fundraising bodies on campus. Um, we raise money for a variety of charities across the year through events, campaigns and challenges. Um, so we have a lot of kind of fun things coming up. Um, hopefully it's always a nice fun group because it's for charity, so we're not normally too horrible. Um, I may be biased. Um, and so yeah, we've got lots of events coming up and hopefully lots of stuff for everyone to get involved with um, that's a little bit more different, um, all whilst raising money for a good cause. Tesco. Hi there, so I'm here with Olivia and Charlotte. Um, they are from Comedy Society. Um, would you be able to tell me a little bit about your society and about yourselves? Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm Charlotte, I'm for welfare, so comedy society, we're just having fun, having a laugh, just being silly, uh, good chance to do acting, maybe improv, think you're funny, we maybe think we're funny. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, <laughs> um, I'm the social secretary for Extra Comedy Society. We have a lot of opportunities for writing and performance. Um, we run workshops in stand-up, improv and sketch. We have a show at the end of term one, which will be a sketch show. And we'll also have a show at the end of term two. It's yeah, undecided as of yet, but we're leaning towards an improv show um, or maybe a stand-up show. 
but we're planning to have stand-up opportunities throughout the year for people to perform in a pub environment um, just to get new material out there and our term three show uh, will be brought to the Edinburgh Fringe and that's going to be a sketch show. So uh, tell us a bit about Expose and the uh, So Expose is the student newspaper, so we have a print paper which comes out monthly, and we also have it on the website and basically expose our students to write articles about those three topics. Um, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm president of Theatre with Teeth. Um, and I'm representing Theatre with Teeth. Fun, yeah. Funny that. I'm a president of Acting Sock and I'm representing Acting Sock as well, actually. Yeah, yeah it's quite good. So what sort of fun things do you have planned for this fresh fair? Well, um, to, tomorrow we've got a acting session where we're doing a little workshop and afterwards we're uh, heading to Revs for some uh, fun, some drinks. Fun, well, we're doing two playwriting workshops come along. I don't know who this is going out to. I presume freshers. Um, but we have a collab coming do, up, don't we? Yeah. We do, indeed. Yeah. Um, we're doing a thing together at the end of the week on the 24th. It should be fun. Two hours of maybe good script writing, maybe good acting. We will see. It is too early to tell. What like events are you looking forward to doing with Campus Cinema this year? Oh, well, I'm looking forward to uh, creating more quizzes. Uh, we had a very popular um, quiz event uh, the other, the other night. That was quite popular, loads of people in attendance. And I can't wait to uh, do more of those. There'll probably be another one uh, before the year is out. And I'm hoping to have a more variety of events and more frequent events uh, throughout the year. So we are the Calisthenics Society and we basically specialise in body weight movement. Uh, that can be anything from walking to push-ups, pull-ups, and basically building strength and muscle and doing functional movement without any weights whatsoever. So very accessible to everyone. Um, doesn't matter what age and you are, what height or weight, anyone could do it because it's just using body weight. So that's the beauty of it. So we run like the only photography society on uh, Exeter, apart from the XTV, obviously. Uh, we try and run as many workshops and meetups just for people to develop their photography in any direction they choose, whether it's professional or just starting photography. And how does harmonics <laughs> differ from other societies that do sing? So harmonics is the only mixed, non-competitive classical and contemporary group um, at Exeter Uni. Um, so there are five a cappella groups, but our main difference is that we don't compete in the ICCAs, which is a huge national competition every year. It's really fierce, and we don't do that, um, which means that we're more chill. We still do all the nice, like, fun gigs around Exeter with the other groups. We're part of the a cappella community, but we're just a bit more relaxed. We've only got one two-hour rehearsal a week. Um, and we're just a really inclusive, fun, fun group. Yeah, yeah, go. Hi everyone, we're here next to Fresh Sweet. I'm Tom. This is. Hi Meg, who is X2? You're gonna, you have to do a bloopers reel for this. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks so much. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> like 50 takes? We've got that. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm station manager of XTV. I'm Tom, I'm the other station manager of XTV. And um, thank you for what, just please do it before you die. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um, I'm Christiana and this is Tom. Tom. No, that's bad. This is Tom. Okay, Tom. I'll just do it. <laughs> okay. Hi. Um, <laughs> hi, I'm Christiana. I'm Tom. Um, and we're filming the app. No, I can't tell them what we're filming. Yeah. No, it's just is... like this, we're with XTV. Hi, I'm Christiana, I'm station manager at XTV. I'm Tom, I'm the other station manager at XTV. And thank, thank you, you for, for watching, watching Freshers 2022. 2022. I use what I like, but most of them are digital for That's so cool. I was like, yeah, I'm a Trisha, so I was like, I was like, I don't know, I think it's a little appropriate. Yeah. Yeah, I love it.